Hello everybody, Sets here. Today we are back with a another figure unboxing video and today we actually have a relatively special video I suppose considering the fact that I have never actually opened up a figure from this line before. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Dragon Stars Janemba. Now, couple things to note about the Dragon Stars line. One, usually I don't ever pick up this line because I typically think that it's, uh, well, kinda stinky. But funny enough, in this case, this is actually the best Dragon Stars figure in my opinion, or at least from what I've seen from pictures and holding the box in the store in person. Dragon Stars line is definitely more of an action figure line than a collectible line, so that is why they tend to look a little bit more scuffed sometimes, but they definitely shouldn't look as bad as they do sometimes in my opinion. By the way, I do want to apologize for the awkward like all of this garbage that you see reflected in the windowed casing. With these figures, since they have the window casing, I can't put the ring light on other otherwise like, <laughs> you know, it looks like trash basically so fortunately just gonna have to deal with that till we get them out of the box but one really cool thing about the dragon stars line sorry this guy's been in the closet for a little while he's a little dusty <laughs> is the artwork on the side of the box is always fantastic for the dragon stars line i don't think i've ever seen the dragon stars figure where i wasn't like wow that art on the side is really really cool funny enough with the camera like this you kind of can't see his eyes it almost just looks like they're yellow but they're there they're those two tiny little dots right there and on the side oh boy bro <laughs> you can see i got this guy for 20 bucks at gamestop um, which is the usual price of these though i will say i am kind of impressed at the resale value of these because these tend to resale for quite a bit of money funny enough i feel like the janemba in here almost looks worse than my actual copy but you can see why i'm maybe not particularly the biggest fan of these look at the faces on these figures they look atrocious let me take a look at goku here on the side can you focus for me there you go goku looks okay vegeta looks very mediocre but gotenks uh, yeah <laughs> super vegeto as well like put up a picture right there i took that one myself doesn't look too hot the packaging, I will say for these, though, is pretty cool. It does almost remind me a little bit more of, like, older collectibles and toys and stuff like that. Um, it just kind of has that vibe to me. I don't know. I don't actually know how to open this. Is there tape even necessary here? Um, maybe not? No, I don't think that there is. The bottom looks like it's supposed to stay sealed, and the top looks like it's supposed to be cracked. Oh, there's the tape. I knew that there was some. So yeah, I got this guy just because, like I said, I've wanted to review a Dragon Stars figure for a while, and I personally think that he's the best looking one out of every Dragon Stars figure I've seen. Funny enough, it seems like a lot of the like monster type of characters seem to look a little bit better than the human characters do. Wow, go figure, SH Figure Arts is kind of in that position right now too. Um, is there something else holding this in? Can I just... I'm kind of scared to ruin the box because I want to keep it like as a housing for him. Am I, am I doing something wrong here, bro? I don't want to... All right, there we go. It's starting to come loose. Also, by the way, I'm sure you noticed the, the stupidity of this. <laughs> the Dragon Stars line is just completely labeled as a Dragon Ball Super line. So even if something like... Literally, these three aren't from Dragon Ball Super, right? Technically, yes, but technically, no, you know? So, like just kind of gonna have to deal with it the super saiyan 4s literally have the dragon ball super logo um on the front of them as well so you know it's just kind of dragon stars being dragon stars i guess maybe i should say bandai being bandai more that's also interesting too that the back of this is just cardboard um and the like actual background is the purple here all right comes out very nicely that's actually not a bad like little display piece of course my lighting kind of stinks at the moment here let's get that Ooh. Yeah, that's not like a bad display piece, I guess, if you just wanted a little something like for the figure on your shelf. And here is our boy Janemba. Let me actually turn this off right now. We'll turn it back on in a second. Yeah, I mean, overall, it doesn't look too bad. Janemba is kind of a goofy looking character as it is. So honestly, this kind of suits the character a little bit. Funny enough, I do think that at some point we might actually end up getting a SH Figuarts Janemba. Only because of the fact that recently 
um, we got a SH Figure Arts cooler, and on top of that, we also got a Dragon Stars Final Form cooler. So I did get this guy a while ago. So if we end up getting a SH Figure Arts version of him, I won't be too mad about it. But I always just figure that maybe Janemba like wouldn't be a character that they would do it with because he's like I don't know, maybe not the most popular. Or he's only from one movie. This is really giving me some trouble here, bro. I don't want to like destroy the plastic, but. This is definitely like a, um, older toys used to do this type of thing. I mean, <laughs> I guess it's working, keeping me out. So I guess it's accomplishing its goal. There we go. I also don't want to like scratch the figure. So this is interesting. I will say in this clamshell, his hands are like in here. Should I just, I don't want to like break it. Okay. There we go. Oh, that is disgusting to listen to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You have to listen to that. All right. Oh, is this tail in the hole? Why? <laughs> All right, Chilemba. Come free from your plastic prison, my boy, please. I don't want to break the figure, but I feel like I'm going to. Okay, a little bit of tail articulation, too. That's pretty cool. Is there any... There's no other connections? Really? Ah! How... How am I so... Bro. <laughs> Hashtag free Chilemba, bro. <laughs> Free my mans. All right. Can we get his feet out? Why did they do this where they, like, put it in the edge? Because then, as well, you can, like, scratch the paint really easily. There we go. Set my man free. There we go. All right. And then I guess we just slide the tail out. Is he attached anywhere else? This looks kind of cool with him, like, releasing from the, his uh, his plastic prison here. Is there something I need to be doing in terms of, like, maneuvering the tail? I don't think so. So, um, already off the bat, I will say that packaging was awful, bro. Because, I don't know, at least for me, I'm a person who... Oh, and you have to... Wait, can I take this off? It kind of looks like I can. Bro, This half this video is literally going to be the unboxing. That's crazy. It looks like that I can take that off, but I kind of don't want to test it. The angle that his tail is at makes it really hard for it to get him off here. Let's try it this way. And then we can loop it around. All right, finally. Oh my gosh, my boy Janemba is free. Let's get a little bit of light on that boy. All right, so um, again with the face, it's not the worst because Janemba is just kind of a goofy looking character as it is. Um, with the human characters, I feel like it's a lot worse. I do like that they captured Janemba's, like, leg things, because he does have this little bit of an edge on his leg joints here. Um, a kind of a neutral face, unfortunately, but, I mean, it is what it is. You can see those little ball joints already in his, um, arms, but, I mean, it looks pretty good for the price. Obviously, this is only a $20 figure, so, oh, did that break? <laughs> I hope that didn't break. I'm pretty sure that can just come off. It kind of looks like it did with the joint in there, but I guess now you can see the joint that makes that work. That is kind of similar to SH Figure Arts, but um, obviously if it just broke that easily, then, you know, not as not as high quality. There we go. All right. Fits right back in there. That is cool, though, because then you can do this with the leg, which just allows for a little bit more articulation. Chest can rotate a little bit. I guess we'll just go over articulation since we're already into it. I'm, used, I'm not the best yet at... Um, reviewing articulated figures, but um, I do my best. <laughs> Articulation here. This does not rotate. This is a little bit of up and down. Ooh, that's actually, that's a ratchet joint. I don't know if you can, here, let me see if you can hear that in the, can you hear that in the camera? There's a little bit of like bumpiness to it. Um, that makes it ratchet a little bit obviously 360 here um, legs can get almost I guess a full spread <laughs> But my copy unfortunately has a little bit of loose leg syndrome, but he can't move it up a little bit because of that leg piece um, Leg can move all the way like this, which is a pretty nice knee interesting I didn't even notice there's a little arrow right there You can also kind of just tell that the plastic is a little bit cheaper like it just looks a little bit cheaper at least I think so. It's also a little bit hard to get the second section of his knee right here to bend. That's really weird. Um, what do we got for the feet? A little bit of pivot, but nothing too crazy. They did get his weird one toe thing pretty well. So you can bend it up and down a hair here. But nothing too crazy, all things considered. 
Um, and yeah, obviously the arms are the same. The tail, oh wow, that's actually pretty cool. The tail is on a ball joint right there, as you can see. So you can get some decent posability with it. Nothing too crazy, but I mean, you can spin it all the way around, which is nice. Um, and then the end section of the tail also has just a little bit of a rotation. Um, no crazy posability on this guy, which I kind of don't expect from a figure like this. And finally, coming back around to the head, we have side to side. We have a little, little bit of down and a little, little bit of up. Nothing too crazy there, um, obviously. Can you take the head off? I assume you can. I'm not going to try, though. <laughs> Let me put my man's leg back on because uh, I think that's going to be a consistent problem for me if I can't get it. Um, to stay, but I mean, I guess once I pose them on the shelf, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Overall, though, I mean, the posability is pretty decent. I mean, again, considering this is a $20 action figure, it's definitely not the worst, all things considered. Um, it definitely could have been worse, and this is pretty impressive considering some of the, like, what I would say, quote-unquote, like, action figures, I guess, I had as a kiddo, so... Let's take a look at the accessories now. We'll get a little bit of dark and light shots here. We have a couple of hands, which is pretty cool. Um, we have the two gripping hands and the two grabby hands, I guess is what we'll call them. Uh, let's pop these out real quick. So these, uh, I assume, are to grip the included sword and the grabby hands. Why do they do it like this, bro? Why do they encase them in plastic like that? That's not the way that you do a clamshell, bro. It's definitely not the way to do it, because then you can end up breaking the fingers, which you definitely don't want to do. We have the grabby hands right here. These look pretty good, if I do say so myself. Very simple. But nothing too crazy. They are a little bit small. I will say, like, I don't know if... Janemba's hands are that small normally, but they do feel a little bit small for his body. Let's go ahead and just rip that off there. Obviously, that's just on a ball joint. Um, so, okay, so left hand. I always like to make sure with my own hands. I know maybe I shouldn't need to do that, but, you know, it, it's just the way to go, bro. All right, so this should be the correct hand. Um, this just pops right on there. Ooh, that also looks very sketchy. That looks like two halves just kind of put together as like a plastic joint. <laughs> I mean, again, 20 bucks, you're getting what you're paying for, but okay, well, that's not too bad of a look. I mean, considering you can't get that much, like, wrist, um, like, up and down, it's kind of harder to get a little bit of a pose for it, because you kind of have to, like, use the arm, I guess, and then it looks a little bit goofy. I will say, this restriction on the legs is probably going to end up being a lot of this figure's downfall. You're going to have to kind of, like, adjust it so then... His legs are a little bit to the side if you want to get any like <laughs> That looks so weird if you want to get any poses like that. Um, but I mean, yeah, that hand looks all right, I guess. I probably won't be using that one, all things considered. Um, but the other thing that I did want to do, let's see, what hand does Janemba hold the sword in? Funny enough, the hand that we literally put the hand on. So let's go ahead and give him the proper hand then for that. We'll yank that off again. And then we will shove that right back on there. Bada bing, bada boom. So let's go ahead now. He can stand up, I will say. That is one good thing um, that we don't have to worry about. Like literally, as well too, I think this also helps because since his feet are so flat, right? We definitely don't have to worry about any like crazy uh, posing, um, I don't know, shenanigans. These are also very weird, these ties in here for this. Look at how these are in here, bro. It's like... These little plastic things, I think I can just pull this, right? I don't want to put my, there we go, yeah, I don't want to put my pocket knife in there for fear of breaking it. And can we just slide that out? Perfect. And now we have the sword. This honestly isn't a bad looking little weapon. Most of the Dragon Stars figures don't include stuff like this because obviously most characters in Dragon Ball don't have something like this. And honestly with Janemba, they didn't need to include this in here. But I'm really glad that they did because this is also partially what made me a little bit more inclined to buy the figure because obviously, you know, Janemba is super iconic with the sword and sometimes it just doesn't get included in my man's kit. So this is actually painted really nicely. I almost like this better than that Janemba, <laughs> funny enough. 
Um, I don't want to ruin the white paint to put it in his hand, but I guess if he's going to hold it, we kind of have to. So, unfortunately, I don't think that you can push it through. I don't want to because of that end little barrier there. So, we're just going to have to stretch his hand, I guess. Ooh, and the plastic on the hand is also very tight. Let's see if we can't get that in there a little bit. Oh, and that's bending it a little bit. See, I don't like that. To be fair, this is a little bit bendy plastic. It's not focusing on it. But I don't want to bend it too much because obviously I want to keep it like as straight as possible. You can even see when I try and like straighten it out there, it goes back to the right like proper position, I guess you would say. Oh, this is interesting. There's some side to side wrist rotation here. So I guess you just have to like rotate the joint to kind of fit how you want it. These hands though are super small for getting this in there. You know what might actually be better? doing this <laughs> yeah i think that's definitely gonna be the better way to do it all right let's go ahead and slit that in there though i guess it's good that they made it a little bit rubbery because then that way um it's a little bit easier for you to get the hand on there i think i'm just gonna like keep the hand on there after i do this because i'm afraid that this is gonna make all of the paint just get absolutely decimated come on baby it's not fitting in there very well. Maybe we have to rotate it. Look at how much that's like bending it, bro. All right, let me try and get it in there and then I'll come back. Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> All right, I literally, as soon as I said that, I fit that in there. Let's go. All right, so that looks pretty good in his hand. You can rotate it a little bit, um, but I will say having it like fully snug in there, I would be a little bit afraid to do that because I'm afraid that since it's a softer material, it would rip right out of the hand, so. Let's go ahead and equip my man with his uh, armory here. Bada bing, bada boom. Ooh, that looks actually... <laughs> ah, me janamba, me like sword. <laughs> that is pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Obviously, a pretty good look for the character. Um, how is he holding it here? I want to be very careful when I'm messing with this here, because, again, I don't want to rip this off, but... This does look very nice in his hand, I will say. Um, there we go. I think that's probably a better way to twist it would be from the base right there. Um, and then kind of like sliding it back snug in his hand. I'm looking for like a side angle where like the blade is facing the camera is sort of what I'm looking for here. Eh, we'll just keep it like this for right now. All right, it is very big in his hands, I will say, too. I don't know if it should be that big. I guess that makes sense for Mr. Janemba here, but <laughs> he's looking at it like, oh, how did I get this from a bean? <laughs> Let's go ahead now and take a look at him next to some other figures. Now, I will tell you two things as we are getting into the size comparisons here. One, obviously keep in mind since this is an articulated figure and part of an already pre-existing line, he of course is not really going to be scaling with any of your Ichiban Kuji or Bampresto type of figures here. Of course, he is an articulated figure, so that kind of makes sense that he would of course be in his own scale. And we will see some SH Figure Arts comparisons in a second here. I just want to get Goku at his tallest point. There you go. He's about like as half as tall as Goku, which is pretty impressive, I will say. Um, he is one of the bigger Dragon Stars figures, actually, which is another reason why I don't know if I can officially like give my full opinion on the Dragon Stars line. He's just under seven inches, by the way. That's what it also looks like to me. That's not just the camera angle playing tricks on you. But um with that since he is a little bit taller than some of the other dragon stars figures i do want to review another dragon stars figure at some point but since this was the best looking one that i've ever seen i wanted to pick him up regardless let's go ahead as well real quick just to give you a little bit of a um explanation i guess as to what i was sort of talking about um we have another figure here that i'm not really going to show any pictures with these two maybe one or two but we have the dragon ball legends gogeta Obviously, because this guy is a prize figure, he is much, much bigger than this Janemba figure here. So, of course, it kind of makes sense that, you know, you're not really going to be displaying this guy with this. Though, you could do something with this, obviously, as a display. I don't know how you would make it work, but I'm sure you smarties that are viewing this video can definitely figure something out there. All right. So, yes, he definitely probably won't be pairing with that guy, which is a little bit unfortunate because... 
There isn't a Fusion Reborn uh, Gogeta figure just yet. Hopefully, we will get an SH Figure Arts one in the figure in the figure in the future. Like I said, since we did get the SH Figure Arts cooler, it almost makes me think that we'll get an SH Figure Arts Janemba at some point. But what I can tell you that I have is two comparisons for some SH Figure Arts figures. Both of these guys I have reviewed in the past. Of course, we have the Dragon Ball Super Fury Broly, as well we have the Saiyan Raised on Earth Son Goku. And honestly, like, funny enough, even though the Dragon Stars figures typically don't scale that well with the SH Figure Arts figures, I almost feel like that these guys actually scale pretty well together. If I had to say, I think that that's a but is is Janemba bigger like that much bigger than Goku it's not a terrible like comparison between the two I also don't know the height difference between Broly and Janemba funny enough these guys are almost actually the same height here which I think is just a testament to how beefy Broly is and <laughs> how tall Janemba is though I guess Broly does have the advantage of squatting let's go ahead and uh get him straight up and down we'll give him even the short treatment to put next to Janemba look how awkward that looks though there you go yeah, Broly is definitely um, a little bit taller than my man Janemba, so I guess if you had him in a squatting pose, plus with this Broly figure, you can also extend the legs even more, um, which I usually don't do because I think it like just puts more stress on the figure over time, but yeah, Broly's definitely taller. <laughs> I'm glad I did that for the sake of the comparison there. But I mean, between Goku and Janemba, this is definitely not a bad comparison, um, I would say, between the two. I think you could definitely get a decent and set up for this um as well too there is also the sh figure arts super saiyan 3 goku that i'm sure that you could use for this scene too considering the fact that that's obviously who janemba was fighting and there have been some rumors recently in the community that there's actually going to be a re-release of that figure and if that is true i would love to get it because that figure resale is disgustingly overpriced <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review nonetheless. I would still recommend getting this figure if you are a fan of Janemba or if you are just a fan of this design. Overall, again, this is definitely not a bad Janemba figure. Of course, there aren't that many options for official articulated Janemba figures out there, so it is pretty cool to see that we at least have one option through the Dragon Stars line. Hopefully we get an SH Figure Arts one at some point, but uh, <laughs> hey, Janemba's holding you at sword point, bro. Like the video or else. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching though. Of course, if you'd like to pick this figure up, I will have a link in the description where you can do so. Um, of course, if you pick it up through my Amazon affiliate link, if it is available, then I get a little bit of an extra cut with no extra cost to you. And as well, if you would like to support my addiction to buying Dragon Ball shaped plastic, you can do so on Patreon. Other than that though, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Dokkan Assets out. Peace. Yeah!